How's it going you guys, Attempting PC here. Today, I'm going to show you an awesome program that lets you remove what's called CPU parking. All right, so you guys might be a little confused what I just said, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there is this thing called CPU parking. And pretty much what that is, is it's kind of like turning off a cylinder in a car when you're on the highway to conserve gas, but it conserves energy. So in the gaming community, we don't want to conserve energy. We want power, pure performance. So what this is, is this is just a really quick tutorial with a program that lets you disable CPU parking. All right, let me explain it to you real quick. This program is called Park Control. All right, let me just bring it up real quick for you. Okay. So CPU parking is when your CPU is kind of not under a heavy load. What CPU parking does is it turns off cores when you're not using them. And then when your CPU gets slammed, it tries to reboot those cores. And it, I mean, it reboots those cores, but there is lag when it's trying to. It's kind of like waiting for your car to get warm. So this is just a program that disables CPU parking. So your CPU is always running all cores full steam ahead so you don't notice any lag at all. All right, so the link will be in the description to download this program. And this is just a quick tutorial on how to use it. There's a couple of power profiles, but the one we're going to be no uh, on is balanced. You can customize any profile at all. And so this is the one that we're going to do is balanced. So on AC right here, this means that it's on alternating current power, which means it's either plugged into the wall or plugged in, if you have a laptop, to its little charger, which is also plugged into the wall. On battery, it's self-explanatory, which means it's on battery power. So the reason it has these two is because people want to, if they have a laptop, when it's on AC, they want full power, but when it's on power, or when it's on battery, they want it to be conservative and conserve energy. So I don't care for either of those. I want full power all the time because I don't really travel with my laptop. So that's what I have. I have CPU parking disabled and all my cores. These these sliders like wants to know what the percentage of your cores is, but I'm going to be 100% on all. So once you hit apply, it says new settings have been applied and there you go. All my cores are currently running. But if I'm on AC and I only want that, you'll notice that it turns off cores right here. This solid gray means the cores are parked, but I don't want that. I want all my cores following. So when I hit apply, Bam, all my cores are green full speed ahead. So that's just a quick tutorial. If you guys have any questions, um, when you do disable CPU parking, um, you will notice a lag uh, a lag decrease and your FPS increase a little bit. All right, so it's just to prevent latency when you guys are playing games, and it'll work for any game, whether it's the new Daisy standalone, Battlefield 4, anything out there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, drop a like and always subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and I will be sure to see you guys in the future. Attempting PC out.